I got my underhook under his far arm and I can go. <sighs> that was a lot of work, right? If you're looking for a place to rest, this is a great place to rest. Okay, he's got to carry my weight. My entire body is off to the side. As long as you're not driving forward trying to crush his face, which one is a dick move, but two, it puts my hips in a bad spot. So if he gets this inside frame like he's supposed to and just starts lifting my hip, he can roll me right over. And it's quite embarrassing, trust me, I've done the research. Right? So my butt is back. I'm actually creating pressure by pulling my butt back onto my heels and pulling my arms in between my legs. Right? That'll create pressure on his chest. I want to prevent him from breathing. I don't just want to make him not be able to look outside his window in his car tomorrow. Right? So he's putting pressure on my face. That's not going to make him stop. Okay? Putting pressure on his chest, making it hard to breathe, that's going to make him not as effective in defending. Okay, so I'm sitting and I'm ready to defend, or uh, I'm ready to relax. Now, he's going to start building his frames. He's not just going to let me crush his head and chest. So he builds his inside frame, he builds his top frame. He, that's all right. That, that sucks. That's not great, especially if he lifts his left elbow above his chest. Instead of away from his body like he's doing right now, showing you how not to do it, he's going to keep his elbow tight to his body and lift it above his chest. Forward. Ah, there we go. That sucks. Now he's making space to get his underarm. Right? So I can't just, yep, exactly. He's a bam. Now I'm in, I'm in trouble. I'm starting to lose a position. I have to react. Right? So instead, when I'm in my side control, he starts building this frame here. As soon as he starts pressuring into my neck, I'm not going to fight it. I'm just going to switch my hips and go with it. Whoop. And switch to a scarf position. Now he can push up my neck all he wants now. I'm good. Right? And if I really want to be a dick, I put all my weight out on my toes. Right? Pull my ribs right into his right into his diaphragm, and I just hang out. I'm not working at all, but he gets to support me. Okay, he's very supportive like that. Right, so I'm gonna hang out, I'm gonna grab this elbow, lift it up just a little bit, and I'm gonna switch my hips back over top. So he gets to smell my armpit instead. Okay, now I'm in a nice high side control. His arm is isolated, right? And he can keep framing here, but his arm is collapsed. So it's uncomfortable, but it's not gonna stop. Cool? So I'm going to start down here, we call this one wrestler side control, okay, because it's a great control position, all right, and I can just hang out, keep my head buried, and I can hold on for a while, right, now he's going to start building his frame, just like he should, one, two, I'm not going to fight it, I'm just going to go with it, switch my hips, bring my bottom knee underneath, make sure that your knee doesn't end up way up by his head, if you can see your knee above his shoulder, it means you're too high, Right, because he's not going to let go of his frame. He's going to keep his frame here, right, holding on to my shoulder, forearm across my neck. And if my knee is too high, he's just going to shrimp away and push on my far shoulder. And I'm going to fall over, all right? And then people are going to laugh at me, right? And I get enough of that. So I want to keep my hips back, my knee under his shoulder. So if he tries to push on me, my butt is behind my head and I can stay connected. Does that make sense? Don't let your hips get in front of your head ever. Keep, unless, except when I tell you to, obviously. But otherwise, never, right? Keep your hips behind your head. I lift his elbow here, right? Now, he, he knows I want to do that, so he's going to keep his elbow nice and tight. I'm just going to control it. I'm going to use my bottom hip to lift his elbow, not my arm. I'm not trying to lift here, right? I'm just peeling it up a little bit so I can get my elbow underneath it. So as I walk over here, or sorry, my hip, okay? I'm just trying to get my hip underneath his elbow now I can lever it, use my body weight to get it up nice and high. And then I'm in a nice high side control. This arm is isolated, and I'm ready to party. Yes? Start in side control. First on the bottom, build your frames. Bottom hip, top shoulder, right? Elbows above your chest, not out to the side. Elbows over my chest. Okay, make sure you got grips with those hands. Okay, he's not just pushing on me with these, with these frames. He's gripping, he's gripping my shoulder, he's lifting his elbow over his chill, over his ass, there you go. So he can make that space. Okay, I'm gonna take the space away, roll my hip back over, and I end up in that high side control with his arm isolated. Anything else? You want any cross side with elbow over the ear? Doesn't matter. Our arm can be over the head, underneath the head, your choice. Questions? One, two, three.